Carl Jacobson is the one that gave me these cool Fordite chips a while back. And he is probably one of the nicest guys on YouTube. So, what do you get the nicest guy on YouTube? A bowl of pure evil. Okay, so this is the object we're going to be casting today. It's eight and a half inches in diameter and about four and a half inches high. Oh, that is, it's just such a satisfying process. Ooh, it's the trash man. I hear the trash man's favorite time of the week. And we're just going to start assembling it. This is not the only way to do it, but this is the way that I'm doing it. Will it work? <laughs> If you've been watching for any period of time, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> and I reinforced all the edges and seams with some packing tape. Um, oh. And it feels much more rigid now that that packing tape has been added. The item that we're going to be taking a shape of fits well in here. Will some silicone get underneath there? I mean, it might. Maybe I should protect against that. All right, let's get a little bit of clay here. When I was a kid, they had us make ashtrays for our parents. That's how old I am. You can tell. I remember bringing it home. My mom was like, uh, thanks? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with an ashtray? And we just press down and give ourselves a nice good bond. All right, next step. Let's actually mix up the silicone. I'm going to guess that I'm going to need at least two quarts. If I need more, I can mix more. Okay, so I got another one of these, these plastic buckets and zeroed out my scale. The weight of the silicone is five pounds, nine ounces. Um, and I need a tenth of that in the other stuff. So that's what like just a little over half a pound and I'm going to grab my catalyst and I'm going to add it until it says so once that says 5.5 we've added enough catalyst okay uh, that's more than I wanted I got excited I guess this is mold release you can buy it uh, online or in a plastic store And so what you have to do, is you have to get it on all the surfaces, and then you have to wait for it to dry. So we'll set that aside and let it dry. While it's drying, we're gonna mix this. And like with anything, you just want a consistent color throughout. That is our goal. I think I spent 100 bucks on the silicone, so it's not a cheap, process to pour this much silicone. If I ever want to make another resin bowl, I'll be able to use this mold. It's so much better than the urethane, which is what I used on the gummy bear axe. I've got some more in the container. I'm going to try to scrape it out. It's had a couple days to set up and we are good now. And let's see if we can't oh, free this sucker. Okay, come on baby. So yeah, that clay stuck really well. All right, should just pop right out. Look at that! The next thing we care about is how much this holds. I filled up the mold with water 
and I'm just going to pour that into a measured container. That would be 75 ounces, which is gigantic. 75 ounces of resin is an enormous amount, and I don't even have that much in the shop. So, let me introduce you to my dip it box. These are all the things that either people have sent me or I've collected to at some point dip in resin. Um, packing peanuts, the micarta shavings from the um, paper pen, all of my failures from trying to make colored pencil rings, some resin shavings, these styrofoam bricks. I already did this one, but I had some extra. What is this? This is Millie Putt shavings. Uh, these are some leather scraps that I got. Anyway, so the box is just full of stuff, but I was thinking about these aluminum shavings. And these actually came from my friend, Mike Warren. When I did the Instructables tour, there was a CNC machine that was cutting aluminum shavings, and he put a bunch of them in a bag for me and set them up. I think these could look really neat cast in resin. So let's go with the aluminum shavings. So this will definitely take up some volume, which is nice. And that should hopefully offset the amount of resin that we're going to need. Okay, that is a lot of aluminum shavings. I'm going to be using polyester resin just because close to 60 ounces of it in the shop at the moment. I was experimenting with different colors of castings just to see what, what I liked. This is translucent green. This is an opaque, it's a shiny red, a blue with aluminum shavings. Uh, not really thinking that looks very good. So the wife suggested, instead of trying to match the aluminum to an actual color, to just go with black. And that might look really cool, and it would make the aluminum pop. I think she might be right. Oh, right. And it smells. Hold on, let me put on my mask. Since we're going to be pouring multiple layers, we're going to do five drops of catalyst per ounce. So five times 20 is 100 drops of catalyst. One, two, three, four, five, six, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. Woo, we got our counting in for the day. We're going to add our pigment powder. And we're going to add a lot. Okay, how do we all feel about that? Is that good? I think that might be good. So 20 ounces just disappeared into nothingness, like we didn't even pour it. Set timer, one hour. Okay, it's set, and the suspense is killing me. And I'm mixing up another 20 ounces. And again, you've got that crazy black look to it. Super deep black. Um, so this time, since we're doing another layer, you actually use less hardener or catalyst. So this was four drops per ounce, which means 80 drops for 20 ounces. Still not sure how far up that's going and how much we're going to have to put in. I'm going to wait and then we'll put in some more. All right, so I got a little nervous there after pouring in 40 ounces and not being able to see it. So what I've done here is I've just kind of dug a little hole. So I've got this block of wood and we're going to turn that down to this shape and we're going to fill up this center section with a block of wood so as we don't use up resin that we don't need. Now let's see if that fits.
Okay, so let's mix up another batch of resin <clears throat> and hope that that's the last one. Let's see what kind of volume this takes up. I feel like this is an endless pit, but we know how big it is. We know it's 75 ounces, and we've already put 40 in. 40 plus 16, that's 56 ounces. This should be visible. I have to say, I'm a little surprised that it didn't go up a little higher. It's like the aluminum doesn't even take up any room. Why is the aluminum not taking up space? It was a huge volume of aluminum. I don't know, which is, I gotta be honest, surprising. I gotta go to the store and get some more polyester resin. I know that this mold is 75 ounces. And I know that it is more or less full of aluminum. And I get it, there's spaces between the aluminum but that should take up some amount of the space, right? And I've got this giant block here as well, which has to take up some of the space as well. So how is it with 56 ounces of resin in the mold, it is still not visible yet. So I've got another 20 ounces of resin. There is no way that I'll be able to pour all of this in there unless my math is just so bad and I am totally misunderstanding this whole process. Okay, now look here. This is ridiculous. So, apparently I'm just stupid. Because I have now poured 76 ounces of resin into a mold that I've got labeled as only holding 75 ounces. But I've also filled the whole thing with aluminum and a giant plug of wood. So... Clearly, I measured this wrong. I mean, there's got, that's the only explanation, is I measured it wrong. There is no way that I've poured, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for this to cure, and I'm gonna pour another layer on top, because there's some room, and um, yeah, why not? It doesn't matter at this point. It's like a black hole, it's just a, it's just, this is not a mold, it's a freaking black hole. So I'm just gonna keep pouring stuff into it. it satiate its resin gulping needs. All right, and so there we go, the final 10 ounces. And, ooh, yuck, and a little unmixed a little bit that didn't pour out from the last mix. That's that's pretty nasty. This is full to the top. It's going to be a really cool blank for Carl and uh, I think it's going to be if I'm honest it's going to be a beautiful bowl if he's able to turn it without I don't know killing himself. Hopefully Oh, look at that, it totally, oh, oh, will you look at that, this is a murder bowl, this is a horrible thing to send to somebody, take a picture and send it to Carl, Carl, <laughs> I made a murder bowl, <laughs> this is the nastiest thing I have ever made somebody. Aluminum shavings and polyester resin. It weighs a ton and it, it hurts just to touch it. Thank you Carl for being my friend, for being nice, for helping me out. I got you a present. <laughs> I'm gonna be sending this up to Oregon, to Carl and um, He's gonna try to turn it on the lathe. He's arguably one of the best turners on YouTube, so if anybody can do this, it's gonna be Carl, but um, 
He's not gonna like it. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun. I'm mostly sorry. All right, so I'm gonna put a link to that video right over here. Go ahead and check that out. As of this point, I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but um, here it is in the raw form, and here it is in the finished form. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you guys on the next one.